So the guy that shot Trump was wearing this dude's shirt. So he made a video talking about it. I'm sure there will be a lot of people watching this video who do not know me who are, are new to this channel that's me just checking in based on recent occurrences yeah so for those who are new for those who do not know me my name is matt Carricker. i am a texas-based youtuber oh and this is my youtube channel i'm in texas um demolition ranch is a firearm centered channel i also have um off the ranch matt Carricker channel which is a, a blog type channel and then i'm also a veterinarian and so I have Vet Ranch, which is a veterinary centered channel. And across the board, across all of my videos, we really don't talk about politics at all. We keep politics out of it. For one, it's not my bread and butter, but also I don't feel the need to impose my... Is that true? This is not kind of, but not really. It seems as though this is true. Okay. This is the first thing I check. Somebody says something, I'm like, all right, let's find out. Just gun stuff, yeah. Medical views and beliefs on other people. And so we generally just stay away from the topic of politics. Okay. However, we were obviously kind of thrust into the conversation after last weekend. So before I go any further, to the family of the victim who died during the Trump shooting, uh, man, I'm so sorry for your loss. It's terrible, and I, I hate that that happened to him and to you guys. And wishing wishing you guys the best from here. Okay. It's that's the worst. For those who were injured in the shooting as well. So okay, just going crazy. Guys, yeah, this is. Um, yeah. Speedy recovery. Praying for pain and recovery for you as well both physically and mentally. I can't imagine. So, okay. as a lot of you guys know, um, and we were shocked and confused to, to find this out, the shooter who tried to assassinate Trump was wearing merch from my channel, wearing a, a Demolition Ranch t-shirt. And that sucked to see that. Yeah, that was that was rough. So this this T-shirt, we also own a T-shirt company, um, and it's based out of this my hometown right here, and my friends work there, and we we make these shirts, we print them here in Texas, and ship them all over the world. Uh, I've seen my shirts in every continent. I got a picture like two weeks ago of a guy wearing my shirt in Antarctica, and so. Somebody wearing your shirt does not mean that you are responsible for what they did. Michael Moore made a documentary about this literally 20 fucking years ago called Bowling for Columbine. And he asked the question, did bowling cause the people that shot up Columbine to shoot up Columbine? The answer obviously is no. Obviously, that did not happen. It's not even a question. He's not responsible for this at all. He did, like, th it's insane that anybody would even say that. We don't vet the people who buy our shirts, obviously. It'd be impossible. It's, that's what Nike doesn't it, vet who buys their shoes. No. I wish I could. I would love to keep people like that from buying, wearing, being associated with that article of clothing. Like, I wish, I wish he couldn't get a shirt. But it happened. And... Yeah, sure. I think the difference in, you know... I mean, nobody wants a mass shooter wearing their shirt. Like, just in a general sense. Nobody wants, like, oh, yeah, by the way, the person who shot up the school was wearing your hat. Oh, well, that doesn't look too good. A gunman wearing a, a pair of Nike shoes... Yeah. ...and a gunman wearing my T-shirt is... This brand is much more personal to me than... Nike is to its executives. And so to see my name next to the shooter's name, oh, it sucks. And I wish. Yeah, it's probably weird. I wish. Yeah, he probably right about that. Happening. So no matter what side you're on politically, none of us want violence. This channel was never meant to incite 
violence or hate. It never has, it isn't, and it never will be a channel that does that. I don't want any violence or hate anywhere around me. I have a wife and little kids. I want them to be safe and secure forever. Yeah, sure. And the videos I put out, I want to make sure that is the same for everyone who watches my videos, that they aren't in any more danger because of my videos, of course. And I know you guys know that. I have 11 million subscribers who have been watching me for over 10 years and know that I am uh, not that kind of person. This is mostly for the people who are just tuning in to see if I am a guy that is trying to... I think that having a gun channel having any accountability for somebody using the gun channel as a, uh, you know, like a place where they can learn and then like shoot up a place. Like, yeah, there's a good chance somebody could have watched one of his videos and been like, okay, this is how I'm going to kill people in a better way. Absolutely. That could happen. It's not even a question. Of course that could happen. There are all different times that you can like people look at a science book and it teaches them how to make meth. Does that mean that people that are scientists are responsible for people doing meth? No, a fucking course not. It's just a insane fucking, uh, it's like a, I'm looking for somebody to blame and I'm going to go with the first person that I can see. It's dumb people Make logic. People it is stuff like that. So I am not, uh, obviously I don't have to explain that to you guys who know me, but I, I feel like I might need to say that mm -hmm. for those who don't. This channel is not about violence. This channel will never be. And uh, we never would condone that at all. Yeah. I hate that. It's a weird, a weird deal. And yeah, I have, I have news articles calling me, asking for interviews, asking what I know about the shooter, asking if I've ever had any communication. Somebody says, don't you think he uploaded this video for views? I don't know. It feels wired to this video. Am I wrong? Yeah, of course he uploaded it for views. He up like, what do you, why would you upload a video to a public platform other than to get views? Yes, you, you are correct in your analysis that this video that was uploaded to a public platform was done. So with the purpose of having other people see the video, you're very smart. Okay. You're very smart. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And with the shooter, if I've ever met him, no, he bought a shirt online and fortunately wore it that day. Anyway, mm -hmm. wishing the best for everyone affected by this. Um, obviously, the way I'm affected is nothing compared to the way some people are affected by this. So. Um, not trying to take anything away from them, but yeah, just kind of letting you guys know. I wanted to tell you guys who know me that we're here, we're still, still going, and uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's not what we stand for, and it will never be what we stand for. And uh, we're gonna keep, keep trucking. When you're watching a, a CNN article and it, it says three names: mm -hmm. the shooters, Trumps, and mine. Yeah, it's a bit weird. That was not on my 2024 bingo card. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Move forward. And um, thank you guys for listening. Thanks for watching. And most of all, thanks for the support. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> generally right about this overall. I'm sure. Like, I, I think it's an, it's an outrageous accusation to make that he was somehow helping the shooter. Now, there is a bit of complexity with this, and so I, I wanted to show you this. So the guy apparently, I don't know if he has a website, and we're going to kind of work through this, uh, you know, live here, because I just saw this. So he apparently has a place here. Literacy texting. Yeah, there we go. So he has a hat that he's selling, and there's, this is his, a website, Bunker Branding Co., and this is a website... Let me see here. It's Demotion Ranch. Let me make sure that I've got this here. Uh, I think he is an owner of uh, of this website here. This doesn't look too good. No, it doesn't. And I, I want to make sure that this is uh, this is explained here real quick. And uh, there we go. Uh, Bunker Branding Company was founded in 2017 with a desire to bring you the best merchandise from the best people owned by Matt, better known on his YouTube personality, Demolition Ranch. So he does, however, have a website that is selling a hat that says make politicians afraid again. Now, 
I want to ask a very simple question. Do you think that selling this hat reduces or increases political violence tendencies? It increases. Yeah. And, 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 and so it, he's not responsible for what the shooter does. But to say that you're not like, I don't think you should be selling a hat that says this. I'm going to be honest. Now, I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm not saying that he should not be allowed to sell this hat. What I'm saying is that I think this is an incredibly poor taste. And I think that this does absolutely fucking lutely promote political violence. I think that any normal person, if they read this and they saw this and this was a comment made about themselves, they would feel unsafe. If someone said that they wanted to make your mom afraid again, you would be very protective of that. If you said this, oh, I want to make Trump afraid again, type this out. If you think this isn't problematic, type it out about Biden right now. Do it and then tag the Secret Service and tell me what they say later on tonight whenever they're at your house. Context matters, though. What is the context in this? How could this make any sense? It's Brandon Herrera's hat. Uh, did you just compare a politician to my mom? I absolutely did. Because making a threat against a person is the exact same thing. And the only point that I'm making is that it's a disingenuous comparison. Because people like a politician is still a person. And a person has a right to, uh, a, a right to not being fucking killed. Like, what are we talking about? It's Brandon's hat. Yeah, they share a website. Yeah, but he, this is his website. Like, it, it's his website. So, not that I support this, but isn't this the actual reason the Second Amendment exists? What, to shoot politicians? Uh, I, I don't necessarily think so. Are you responsible for everything OTK does then? Everything that it does? In a way, yes. In a way, no. Like, so, like, for example, let, let's, let's use a one-to-one, -one, right? If we were selling a hat that said this, or we were selling a hat, yes, of course, people, it depends, yeah. Absolutely. Like, if I own a website and people are selling products on the website that, in my opinion, this does promote political violence. It does. It absolutely does. It's not even a question. Yeah, you know, that's why advertisers pull from channels that express violence. Yeah, it's, it, it, I, I don't even understand how this is even a question. The company is a clothing brand that makes merch off of other content creators. Yes, but it chooses which merch it allows and which one it doesn't allow. I'm sure it basically has some degree of approval process to go through it. Like, they're making money off of this. So, like, your best argument is incompetence or them not caring? I don't know. I think that's a pretty bad argument. You're not responsible for what merch you have, uh, but, uh, but you are about what it says and what it promotes? Exactly, yeah. Like, don't you kind of agree with the message? No, I don't agree with the message. Absolutely not. Because it has it obviously has a violent implication. It's not even a question. It clearly has a violent implication. Anybody who thinks that it doesn't is being dishonest. It's a vague message. Of course it's vague, and it's vague on purpose. It's because of the implication. You're a weenie for saying that? Yeah, of course, of course you say that, right? Of course that's what you say. But if I posted, uh, if I showed a picture of you and I put you out there and I said, let's make this person afraid again, I bet you'd want me to get shut down. You would. Because everybody has, everybody is willing to talk about this and have no problem with this whenever it's not happening to, happening to them. That's the reason. And, and this is the thing. And I think, again, he'd cry like a little bitch. Yeah, you'd cry like a little bitch. You'd be upset about it. And what if I did it to your mom? What if, how about this? If you think this is not a problem, why don't you type, I want to make Biden afraid again, and then tag the Secret Service and tweet that out publicly under your name? Go ahead and do it. You're not going to do it. You know why? Because you know it could be perceived as a threat and you're being dishonest. That's the reason. Yeah, no balls. Yeah, true. I dare you. Yeah, of course you're not going to do it. Because this entire posturing is a complete fucking lie. Everybody knows this implies violence. Of course it does. It's silly. Now, is he responsible for the shooter? He is absolutely not responsible for the shooter. But do not go and insult my intelligence and tell me that selling a hat on your fucking website 
your website that says make politicians afraid again does not collectively increase political tensions and also promote political violence. This is not even a question. Anybody who's saying no or disagreeing with this is being dishonest because I'm calling out something that's bad or that they disagree with. I'll read some comments about this because I know people are going to be crying about this, but that's what I think. It's just a goddamn hat. I agree. Absolutely. It's just a hat for sure. Th that's not the point. I disagree. It's not about violence. <sighs> okay. Do you think that... Do you think having that hat on there increases or decreases the overall climate of political violence? Does it make it go up or down? Neither? Of course that's not true. If Biden says... If Biden had said, before Trump got uh, almost got assassinated, we need to make Trump afraid again, everybody would be playing that clip over and over and over, blaming Biden for saying it. And they would be saying, look at this, you're responsible for this. They did, yes, and everybody blamed him. I do agree it's not about violence. You know his problem is? He made the video. Without the video, no one would have cared or looked at his site for the stuff. Yeah, for sure. What does the item description say? Uh, I don't know. Let me see what it says. It doesn't really say anything. Yeah, make politicians afraid again hat. Like, it's just, it's a hat. Right, that's it. Zerman's YouTube is not political. Um, not all of his business ventures were. I understand that. Yeah, of course I understand that. Agree, but you also can't deny that it also implies politicians are currently not afraid to make decisions that harm the greater good of the country. Of course, but if you make abstract and vague statements that can be implied as being violent, I think that the people that buy this, this is my hot take. I think the people that buy this want political violence to happen to the politicians that they disagree with. And I think that in their mind, whenever they think make politicians afraid again, I think they're thinking about assassination. I think they're thinking about actual violence, and I bet it's 95% of them that are thinking that. Absolutely. fucking lootly It's amazing to me that people are so intellectually dishonest to pretend like that's not the obvious fucking case. You could have said, make politics matter again. You could have said it a lot of different ways. That's definitely not what they are thinking at all. So, again... How is it, and, and this, is, this is the problem with cognitive dissonance, is that you can create a one-to-one, -one, but then people won't put them together. Because it, like, it, it breaks the conditioning in their mind. Let me go back to my original point. If Biden had, say, had said, we need to make Republicans afraid again, we need to make Trump afraid again, and then Trump got assassinated, or he attempted, like, he almost got assassinated, or like he did. He literally did, right? And and do you think that Biden saying that was a good thing to say? I think he's wrong. I think he should not have said that. He absolutely should not have said that. And he is responsible for turning up the temperatures. He's not responsible for the shooter, but he played a part in contributing to the environment that made the shooter want to do that. Absolutely. It was very wrong, right? And so Matt isn't a political YouTuber. Why would that matter? That has nothing to do with it. Yep, they're all the same. Exactly. And so I, I, I just want to... Can, can you guys see the cognitive dissonance in chat? About how if Biden had done it, it would obviously be a threat and bad, but him doing it and selling this hat is somehow okay? This is cognitive dissonance in action. This is people looking at the exact same thing, but because it contradicts with their political dogma, they can't think past that and see common sense. It's so fucking pathetic. There's a lot of intellectual dishonesty in the chat. That's right. They should be ashamed for selling this hat and they should not sell this hat. It's a bad hat to sell. I don't care what the intention of it is or what you think is okay or anything like that. It, it, it's a bad hat to sell. Should not sell this hat. This hat absolutely turns up the temperature of political violence. Absolutely. It's not even a question. It's not his fault the shooter went out and did this. 
he should not be responsible for it in any capacity. But selling that hat does increase the tensions. It absolutely does. Both sides are getting more extreme. Oh yeah, for sure. Basically, you're saying one's the president of the United States, the other is the YouTuber from Texas. They share the blame in an attempted assassination. Can you explain... Can you explain what you're trying to say? Why don't you go ahead and explain what you're trying to say? If all these people are punishable, you're responsible for turning up the political heat, but only the shooter is responsible for the shooting. In what opinion is an okay temperature to turn up the heat and how to measure? I think that when a person takes an action, that person is responsible for their actions and no one else is. If they do something, it is ultimately their responsibility. Now, other people can reflect and think about how they created an environment that it's more easy for that person to commit that action. But the truth is that each individual person has their own self-control, they have their own autonomy, and they can do what they want to do. The idea that you make somebody do something like this is insane. And it takes away a person's agency and it takes away their freedom. So that's the difference. No, I won't ask Trump. Well, of course you won't. And the reason why you won't is because you know that your argument is stupid. This is a retard argument. Just because the person has more power doesn't mean that the words have a different meaning. It just means that the words have a stronger voice or they have a stronger, uh, like, volume. The words are the same. It doesn't matter who's saying them. It's a ridiculous thing to say. It's our argument? Yeah, that's it. You defend weapons that are uh, a million times more responsible for what happened? I don't get your point. Let me read, uh, let me read this message. Um, so can you explain what you're, what you're trying to say? I'm not sure someone who wouldn't engage in political would be moved by this hat. It's not that they would be moved by this hat. It's that a person who is willing to commit political violence would naturally be drawn to other things that they believe promote political violence. And I think it would be logical for a person to see a hat that says make politicians afraid again and think to themselves, this person probably supports political violence like me. Absolutely. The hat, he didn't look at the hat. It's not like this is fucking, uh, what is it, Harry Potter. You put the hat on and it says kill Trump. No, it does. that's not how it works. But, hey. You see something like that, that maybe somebody who already thinks that would probably have that viewpoint. A guns killed someone, a hat didn't kill people? Yes. I agree with you. The hat didn't kill anybody. Of course not. My point is that a person who is predisposed to be politically violent would logically be drawn to something that could be seen as promoting political violence. This is simple logic. And if you don't understand that, it's because you don't want to. I don't get why you're so focused on this. It doesn't matter. The hat won't increase the violence level of anyone. But do you agree that a person who is prone to violence or is um, willing to commit violence would be more drawn to things that they think condone that behavior? I, I just... It's astonishing to me that people are like... It's the mental gymnastics that people use. Like the Biden crosshairs thing. I mean, to be fair, that's probably way worse, right? Because crosshairs, what has crosshairs? But, yeah. Do you believe they have games like Call of Duty Battlefield, uh, games which cause political violence and war, increase the overall violence in general because the games have political violence and war? Actually, want your take? Uh, I think if you put a real person in there, it does. Absolutely. And also with a game, there's a uh, there's a suspension of disbelief that it's not happening in the real world. Uh, this is something that's happening in the real world. There's not any implication that it's only inside of a video game. This is in real life. Yes, but it won't make difference in our actions. Okay, so then you agree that one of the reasons why the shooter could have worn this person's shirt is because they could think this person condoned political violence, right? This is possible. He agreed. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, so it won't make a difference in our actions. I agree. It's a stretch, but yeah, of course, right? I have a very big problem with dishonesty. 
if this is not obvious. I hate people that are dishonest who I think are liars and who are trying to push a narrative that's not true. And they're doing it. And like, in my opinion, like some of the levels of dissonance are so obnoxious and so offensive to me that I just can't let it go. Yeah, it's condescending too. Yes, it, 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 it insults your intelligence that you that they consider you stupid enough to not see the connection. He's not responsible for other people's perceptions, though. People would carry out political violence who like to watch the boys do the same. For sure. Yeah, for sure. That's Brandon Herrera's hat. It's not Matt's. Matt sold this company two years ago. Is that true? So he doesn't own it anymore? Well, if he doesn't own it anymore, then it's not his fault at all. Yeah, yeah then it's not. Remember the Christ, uh, Christchurch shooters saying subscribe to PewDiePie? Yeah, that's like PewDiePie is responsible for that or something like that. That's insane. That is insane. You know the first message? There's no reason to. It's just stupid. People who buy the hat support the message on the hat. What you're saying is obviously true, just like MAGA supports Trump's message. Not necessarily. I mean, again, like, it, it, it's abstract. But I do think that selling a hat like that is irresponsible and you shouldn't do it. I do. I, I, I think it's a bad thing to do. And I do think that a lot of people that see a hat like that would absolutely see it as a justification or like a rationalization for political violence i'm not saying that they should not be allowed to sell the hat by the way i want to make sure everybody understands that of course they should be allowed to sell the hat probably i i think so right i'd have to think about that more however i think it is problematic and i would prefer if people didn't do things like that i think this is very fair opinion to have